Hey YT, it's 90302 and I wanted to come and show you some items that I have been picking up from all of the MAC collections that have been dropping uh, since the month of April and it seems like MAC is on a non-stop roll. It's like every other week if not two weeks there is a new collection coming out and you guys know that I am a MAC junkie so I've kind of been picking up things from each of the different collections. I also want to quickly show you some stuff that I got from Inglot's and some stuff that I picked up from Ulta. So this is going to be a pretty long haul. I am going to try to speed through things. I'm not going to do um, any major swatching. So if you need to see swatches of any of these items and you probably already have because some of this is stuff that is been inundated all over YouTube now and if you are on Instagram then you probably have seen quite a bit of these items alright but before I get started with that I want to thank you guys so much for all your support um, all the love and for anyone that I have gotten a chance to meet and for those that I haven't gotten to meet face to face I would love to meet you guys you guys are truly truly amazing alright so let me quickly get started like I said the very first thing I wanted to come and show you guys I had picked up um, some Inglot rainbow eyeshadows on Sunday at IMAT. I tried to get them on Saturday but that line was just ridiculous and it just never seemed to end so I gave up on Saturday I almost kind of said I was not going to get any Inglot but when I went on Sunday um, I was in a better position to get them so I'm just going to quickly run through the ones I got the first one I got is number 108 and it looks like this the next one that I got is number 110 the next one I got is number 119 the next one that I got is number 121 this next one that I got is number 129 really pretty purples this next one that I got is number 124 this next one is 115 this next one is 102 this next one is 104 and it looks like this and the very last one that I got is number 109 so the majority of those are the matte rainbow eyeshadows and I think of the group I ended up getting like three of the I think it's called the uh, double glitter or double diamond I will correct the name if I am saying them wrong but I got three of those all right next up was um, I stopped in my local Ulta um, I had a young lady who needed something and so I went to pick that up for her and while I was in there um, I decided to pick up one of the new Essence Eye Heart Extreme uh, Crazy Volume Mascara it comes in uh, they have quite a few different ones but I got the one in the pink and I really like it because it has this really nice small um, brush applicator um, and I have a uh, little to no lashes so this actually helps them stand out so I got that also while I was in there I decided to pick up one of the Tarte uh, this is the uh, Amazon Escape palette and I saw this palette um, I think on Emily Noel's channel and I really like the shadows uh, not that I needed any more nudes and I also like the blushes so here is the Amazon Escape palette and this blush right here is an expose and this one is a um, kind of limited edition for this particular set and it's called free 
and I will kind of give you just a quick swatch of that so there is free and here it is swatched out on my hand and this one is exposed kind of a neutral pinky neutral and there is exposed I really like the Amazonian clay blushes so having those two I can now add them to the collection of those that I have also while I was in there they gave me a free gift of the Tarte Clean Slate 360 Creaseless uh, eye primer and a little mini mascara it came in a package like this and then the last thing that I got from Ulta was I picked up one of the Urban Decay eyeshadows in ABC gum and ABC gum looks like this just a really pretty kind of uh, peachy highlight color all right next up is Mac and it is quite full the very first thing that I took advantage of is that you guys know that Mac brought out the fashion sets I really like when they bring out fashion sets because it gives you the opportunity to not only get a lipstick and a matching gloss to go with that lipstick but it also allows for you to get polishes of the same color and lip liners so um, the first thing that I picked up in the fashion set was I picked up all four of the lipsticks so the very first one and the most sought after one of course is heroin and heroin looks like this and I'm not going to swatch them because you guys have seen a zillion swatches of heroin the next one that I picked up is called a blaze and a blaze is this really pretty um, kind of apricot -y color and there is a blaze the next one that I got is in um, embrace me and embrace me I didn't think I would really want this one but it for some reason now uh, these fashion set lipsticks have become the most sought after thing so everyone is trying to get their hands on these um, some of these work well for others and some don't and the very last one that I got and the one that I definitely knew I did not think I wanted but I just went on ahead because they were all limited edition and they were matte and picked them up and that's silly so got that then I also picked up all four of the lip glasses that coincide with those lipsticks so here is silly and I should have had all this out of the box but I didn't so there is silly really really pretty the next one that I got is heroin and heroin kind of really reminds me a lot of the Maybelline um, Merit Plum. Um, they're really, really close. So if you have that and you didn't get a chance to get heroin lip glass, um, you definitely could probably pass on it and use your Merit Plum. The next one that I got is a Blaze. And this one, um, I've been told, is very unique to MAC they don't really have another color out like this so there is a blaze and the very last one that I got is embrace me and embrace me looks like this okay so that was all the lip glasses then I picked up all the pencils to also coincide with them so this very first one is embrace me and embrace me looks like this give you a swatch of that so there is embrace me the next one that I got and the one that sold out first of course 
heroin. And heroin looks like this. Everyone says that Max Magenta is very close to heroin. So, um, I, I think it, it's going to all depend on the amount of pigmentation in your skin and your lips. Um, but there is heroin. The next one that I got is a blaze. And a blaze looks like this. And here is a swatch of a blaze. And of course, the very, very last one that I got is silly. And it is down here. And here is a swatch of silly. So there is silly and it looks like this. So I got all those lip pencils and then the next thing I did was I picked up uh, some more spike pencils so I got two of those. I also picked up uh, one of the regular line lipsticks in Please Me and Please Me looks like this. Like a pinky nude. So there is a swatch of Please Me. The next thing that I got was I picked up all, I picked up three of the eyeshadows from the fashion sets. So the very first one that I picked up is Heroin. And um, I saw Nikki Hana, uh, she had did a look with it and, uh, the look was really, really pretty. Um, but I hear you have to really kind of work with this one. Mac could have like really made this a really pretty purple. It's kind of like a purple with a blue base and it actually, I think in the pan, it kind of looks kind of more cobalt, but Okay, I was a sucker for the fashion sets. The next one that I got is a blaze, and this one is a matte finish. And a blaze looks like this. And there is a blaze on my finger. And there it is, swatched out on my arm. Got that one. And the last eyeshadow of the fashion sets that I got is called Embrace Me. And Embrace Me is a satin. And I really like this one. It is probably to me of the three that I did get that this is the most pigmented one. And there is a swatch of Embrace Me. And if you have Max Passionate you pretty much have this color so there is embrace me I do feel like Mac could have really amped these up a lot more than what they did alright the next collection that came out is the in extra dimension and of that collection I got two blushes and two of the MSFs um, I had to go into the actual store to get um, the MSF that I really really wanted because for some reason Mac is putting up these collections and they're only putting up like parts and pieces are missing and then you you find yourself stalking the website and it's ridiculous like they need to cut it out so the very first blush that I picked up and this one is called Flaming Chic and Flaming Chic looks like this And it swatches like this on the finger. And man, these aren't the greatest either. They could have, mm, Mac, Mac, Mac. I don't know. Some of this might be going back. 
but there is flaming chic the next one and the one that I was like really excited about um, was uh, fiery impact it's so pretty in the pan but mm, but there is fiery impact It swatches like that on the finger. And there it is swatched out on my arm. So, like I said, I think MAC has just gotten very money hungry, in my opinion. And they're just throwing things up. And junkies like me, we keep giving them our money. Mm, gotta stop. Gotta stop. The next one thing that I picked up was two of the MSFs and the main one that I wanted that is not up on the website is called Shape the Future and Shape the Future looks like this really really pretty uh, it's kinda like a really coppery-ish bronzer side and then you have like a peachy champagne side so that is let's see where can I put this let's roll up a sleeve here guys uh, there is one and two so there is a shape the future swatch that on my arm and I really like that and then the next one that I got that everyone is talking about that is very much woman of color friendly and this one is called double definition and double definition looks like this really really pretty uh, I think it's said to be like a a bronzed patina color so there is double definition on my finger and let's see we'll put one there ooh very that that's pretty and the other right there so there is double definition right there so those were everything that I got from the uh, extra dimension and also while I was in Mac um, I needed to get a backup of my saddle as you see hitting pan on saddle and handwritten and so I picked up another saddle so that was everything that I got so far from Matt Ooh, nope take that back I have one thing from excuse me uh, the newest collection which is called bacon beauties and that is the one that has lavender whip in it I am getting that but it hasn't come in the mail yet um, but I did pick up uh, raspberry swirl lipstick from that collection and those were the only two things that I think I'm getting from baking beauties um, and raspberry swirl looks like this kinda really pinky I don't see where why they named it raspberry but here is a swatch of Raspberry Swirl. And like I said, I am awaiting Lavender Whip. I don't own, have it yet. It should be here by Friday. I don't own the original, so um, I really definitely wanted to get that. Alright, I'm going to grab a wipe right quick and wipe off my hand. And there's like about three other things I wanted to quickly show you guys when I was at IMAT um, City Colors was there and City Colors booth completely sold out they were very inexpensive and you guys might see City Color products from time to time in your local Rite Aids if you have a Rite Aid in your area well um, while they were at IMATS I picked up a couple of things from them and I picked up three and their prices I want to say were like between a dollar 
with maybe the most expensive thing there, and that was actually a big palette. It might have been about eight or nine bucks. But I picked up some of their baked eye shadows, and let's see if they have a name. They don't have a name, but I picked up, they come in a package like this, and they kind of twist off. And I picked up this really pretty uh, kind of turquoisey blue, and it's duochrome, so there it is, swatched out on my finger. And when you swatch it, you get some blues and greens. So I really, really like that. And this was like a dollar. The next one that I picked up is kind of this really taupishy gray color. And it looks like this. And it has some dual chromes of like some sage and some green in there so there it is on my finger and there it is swatched out on my arm and the very last baked eyeshadow I picked up is this really pretty purple and it looks like this And it swatches like this on the finger. And there it is swatched out on my arm. So for a dollar, I could not pass up that. The next thing that I wanted to quickly show you guys was I picked up, they had these uh, blush quads there. And they were like four or five bucks. And so I picked up two of them, and this one is uh, collection number two. And inside you get, uh, you, know, you have this like really little mirror here, and then you get these four beautiful blushes here. And then because it was city color, I was kind of thinking they were going to kind of be chalky. Boy, was I wrong. But here is a swatch of that very first um, kind of cinnamony looking brown, um, blush and there it is swatched out on my arm the next one just really reminded me of like NARS exhibit A and there it is swatched out on my finger And there it is, swatched out on my arm. This next one uh, reminds me of NYX Cinnamon or um, Max Orange. And it's a really pretty orange blush. And there it is, swatched out on my arm. And this last one is like this really pretty um, kind of magenta ishy pink and there it is swatched out on my finger and there it is swatched out on my arm and for four or five bucks from City Color um, these wear really really well um, they shear down nicely um, and, or you can build them up and wear them as pigmented as you want them. You can also wear these as eyeshadows. So I really like that one. And then the second one that I got is the collection number one. And that one I hadn't even opened, but I'm going to quickly pop that open for you guys and show you what it looks like. And inside you get these two little applicators and then you get these four blushes. And these were more of your, your mauves and your light pinks. So here is that light pink. And there it is, a swatched out on my arm. This next one is like a mauvey pink. And there is a swatch of it. This next one is a little darker pink, kind of blue based. So 
you have that one and there it is swatched out on my arm and then this very last one is like a magenta-ish paint with like some shimmer in it and it looks like this on the finger and there it is swatched out on my arm so of the two um, I think I like collection number two a little bit more than I like collection one but for five dollars I couldn't pass it up and their booth like I said was completely sold out and completely trashed like people were going crazy over there just buying up any and everything that they had all right guys that is the end of this extremely long haul um, if you have any questions or concerns feel free to inbox me or leave it down below all right take care and enjoy the rest of your evening bye